just under 4,000. Anybody else you know that owns these? Uh, Is there anybody else you know that owns these? Oh, yeah. Steve Silverberg in Bedford. Yeah. He's got 10 of them. Really? Wow. This so, weekend coming, we're meeting up to uh, Wiz Beach. Oh, are you really? Yeah, there's a, we're having a little swimming up there. There should be 10, 12 of us. They even got boat lights. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> once you put it in the water, yeah. you're going to be, you're going to have a... It's got to be boatable, huh? Boatable. Life jackets, the whole, the whole bit. So you have to register it both? Both ways. Now it's on the street, so I gotta register it as a cat. It goes in the water, it becomes a boat. How many of them are there? It made just under 4,000 of them. It's probably half of that around, and out of that half, there's probably about 500 still swimmable that can go in the water. We call them swimming when we go in it. All made from 60, 62 to 67. The, uh, oh, that's right. That's the trunk, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my Triumph. Triumph Harrow. Yeah, they were made in Germany. They were made in uh, Germany. There was two factories in Germany, and they were made for about a year and a half, and the factories closed. Then they sent so many over to the States. There were 63s, then 64s, and 65s. There's a couple 68s, but there ain't many left. They're all the same, same style. And uh, they were made in four colors. They were blue, white, and green, and red. And I can say they're all they're all just about the same. The only 62 to 64, the vent windows are, are painted and the dash are painted the same color as the car. 65 to 67, the dash are painted black and they got chrome vent windows. And that's the only difference. And the color of the tops are black or white. They're all convertible. Four speed transmissions. So. Can you shift it in the water? No, one speed in the water. One speed in the you, water. You know, you trawl seven, seven knots in the water. What, and what gear are you in? You know, you're in neutral. Oh, really? You convert it over like a four-wheel drive. Okay. Yeah. You activate the props. It's a 43 horsepower engine, 1200 cc's. And once you convert it over to the props, it drops down to 9.9 .9 horsepower. So it's seven knots in the water and 70 on land. How choppy can it get for you to be out there? Pretty choppy. So it'll hit. You know, if it gets it? choppy, you just crank up the window so the water don't come and get you wet. <laughs> I see. And uh, the fins in the back, they're they're like a '57 Chevy, but the fins are there for a purpose so the water don't come over and get in the engine in the in the rear. The rear engine. And, uh, <clears throat> I had it for about 14 years now. It was restored in uh, 04 up in Canada, really in Canada. I got a two car, car hauler, and I just bought another one from uh, in Canada, my buddies. Okay. And it's five o'clock. This one here is all steel. The one he made, he restores these. He had all the molds and everything, he made one all out of complete fiberglass. So, same motor and everything? The same motor, same everything. But that yeah. one ain't finished. Oh, well, he wants 28000 for it. Wow. This one here two years ago was priced at 80. Yes. The economy down is about 65. Yeah. No what a beauty. My goodness. So, Did you restore it? Oh, I had it done in uh, really in Canada. Oh, okay. Right up in, uh, Canada. I met him in uh, Ohio. Well, in our Ohio. And I had it restored. Yeah. Let's go take a look at the back. Oh, is, is is that the gas tank in there? That's the gas tank. 12 gallon tank. 12 gallons, huh? Yep. And your spare tire and everything. You know. Alright, what's the knots per gallon? <laughs> a, a gallon per uh, hour in the water. 
Oh, okay. And on land, I get about 34 miles to a gallon. Do you ever put the top up? Very seldom. The only time I put the top up if it's raining or... Yeah. Very seldom I put the top up is the, uh, the engine, water cool. It's made in Germany and they got a... They put an English motor in it, four cylinder Triumph Arrow, water cool. Yeah. West Germany would be. Yeah, that's quite a quite a rig. Now, what are those bars on the bottom? I see. These are the, uh, your pumpers, like for the car. Oh, okay. I wouldn't trust too much of it, but that's that's what it. Yeah. That's what it is. Well, oh, they're pretty, huh? The nerve bars. They call them. And that little tube coming out the right rear back. This is the bilge pump. Oh, okay. It's it actually has one of those, huh? It's got a bilge pump, and this little one is a yeah. squirter, right? Well, that, squirt that exhaust pipe on the left side, that takes yeah. care of everything yeah. all the time? That, yeah, that's the, out of the water. That runs the, the tire and the boat. Okay. The same engine. And I'm safe up here, huh? Until you fall in. <laughs> Play on it. All right, let's go for a ride. No, I'll activate the uh, the props. Props are activated now. Oh, so now they're spinning? Yeah, now they're spinning. Well, and off we go. I don't have to worry about anything, huh? Nope. I'll go in slow. I don't know, I guess I carry some weight. I'm not gonna oh. sink us, am I? No. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Look at this. So now it's in neutral. Now is that your captain's hat? Yeah. Run? That's sun visor, yo. Yeah. Your front wheels is your rudders, which steers yeah, okay. it. Okay. So does the speedometer work when you're nope. in the water? Nope. No? No. Here's your, your top speed right here. My goodness. Boy, we're going for a ride, huh? Just stay right out here, shut it off if you want. And just float, float around. You ever go fishing in it? No, I never did. No. Usually they, there's so many boats of you around and curious, they all yeah. come around. So. And it might smell like fish too, huh? Yeah. And if you clutch it, you can stop and put it in reverse. So it backs up too? Yeah. Wow. Isn't that something? Well, this is pretty good. You see your front wheels as you run. So is that how it steers with yeah. the wheels? Your front wheels are the wow. Splashes up in front there. Yeah. You take the, the back. Look at the uh, the uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do the back. Yeah, I can drive right up on that beach if the rocks weren't there. Yeah. Drive right out there. As long as it ain't mucky, you can get out. The muck is uh, it you. So I didn't pay attention. Are these people coming in or going out? They're going out. Oh, they're going they're out. out. Oh, okay. This is a gentleman that spoke to you before. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, this is—I was hesitant at first, Ron, but you know what? <laughs> Thank you very much. Everybody has. You see, last year I was sitting down. Where the truck is? Yeah. It was warm, and a bunch of kids were swimming around here. And there was a woman sitting out on the, the boat dock. I come up and tour the horn. Yeah. And I said, ma'am, could you please move? She looked at me and she says, You think I'm crazy? <laughs> I said, I never said that, ma'am. But this is a boat ramp. <laughs> you don't funny. have a boat. I says, I'm gonna take this car into the water. Could you please move? <laughs> I'm not stupid, I'm not moving. Really? I says, You're not moving? I said, okay, we'll see. 
I said, the PD will come down here. They'll, she'll move, he'll move you. Yeah. She grabbed the chair. She picked it up. She says, she, you think I'm stupid, huh? Go ahead, you fools. <laughs> I drove right in. Her eyes lit right up. She didn't know what to say. See, now I'm going to put it in the first. I'm going to get a little jerk. It don't take all day to load it. It don't take all day to put on a trailer. <laughs> Look at that. And a boat with rear view mirrors, can you imagine? Ron, thank you. You're welcome. That was a pleasure.